Come on! Find the value of x from this equation. 8 to the power of x equals 16. Oh my god! x is exponent. We hate it. However, the right hand side is a simple number, 16. And the relationship between 8 and 16 is that 16 is 2 times 8. So we can substitute 2 times 8 for 16. Then this equation will turn 2 this form. 8 to the power of x is equal to 8 then times 2. Then this 2 is in the way. We don't like it. So note that 2 is equal to the third root of 8. So we can substitute the third root of 8 for 2. So now this equation turns to this form. 8 star of x is equal to 8 then times the third root of 8. Then the third root of 8, it can also be written as 8 to the power of 1 over 3. So this can be written as 8 to the power of 1 over 3. The right hand side, a little bit complicated. So, we can use a formula. a to the power of m, and then times a to the power of n, is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So here, a is 8, m, this 8 can be regarded as 8 to the power of 1. So now, the left hand side is still 8 to the power of x, and the right hand side can be written as 8 to the power of m plus n is 1 plus 1 over 3. And 1 plus 1 over 3 is of course 4 over 3. The basis can be cancelled out and you can get the value of x. It is 4 over 3. 4 thirds. And stop! This was only the first method. The second method is coming. I have a question. What can you notice? Of course, the base is 8 and the right hand side is 16. 8 is 2 to the power of 3 and 16 it is 2 to the power of 4. So we noticed that 8 it is... Sorry, my god. My brain is old. It is 2 to the power of 3, not 3 to the power of 2. I should hit myself. 16, it is 2 to the power of 4. Very good. So now, we substitute 2 to the power of 3 for this 8. So it is 2 to the power of 3, all to the power of x, is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Besides this formula, I have another formula. That is, a to the power of m all to the power of n, it is equal to a to the power of m times n. So here, a is 2, m is 3, n is x. So the left hand side is equal to 2 to the power of 3 times x, which is equal to 3x. And the right hand side is 2 to the power of 4. The basis can be cancelled out, and you can get... So... 3x is equal to 4, and the value of x can be solved easily. It is 4 thirds. Of course, I have another method, that is, to use logarithms. We can take a natural log on the both sides size and then simplify it further. However, I don't have any place anymore. You can solve it yourself and share it with us. Give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.